Today we're working on this Dell Latitude E6430. So basically, as you can see, look at what it's doing. I get no video. All I get is this flashing. Uh, I could try to hit the power button, but it doesn't do much. It doesn't get to boot up at all or get any type of confirmation on the screen. So what happened to this is exactly what I wrote over here. It got messed up by the Dell BIOS update. So it said it had an update and I said, okay, do the update. And all of a sudden that update ruined the entire machine. It would no longer boot. So what I've done, went on eBay and I purchased some new BIOS chips. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mess around and see if we are able to revive this thing by putting new chips if not i'm gonna throw this whole thing in the garbage all right let's get busy okay so we begin by removing the hard drive and also ejecting the cd drive and put all that to the side remove all of the top screws and uh you should be able to pry this cover off easily uh your next steps now we're going to go through the other side we're going to remove the keyboard so this keyboard is going to pop up first pry off this little plastic piece all around the keyboard bam and then you're going to be removing these keyboard screws right here. All of them. They're holding it. Okay, four screws removed. Now you can see the edges. They could just pry it up right up under the edges and get the keyboard out. And um, there's going to be a cable that you have to be careful with. Also, there's screws on the other side that needs to be removed that's holding the keyboard. So let's do it. So on the bottom, you're going to see two, two screws over here. That's what's holding your keyboard down. Screws removed. Look at that. Keyboard literally flies right off. Now you're just going to carefully remove that. And your keyboard is out and this would be the same way if you want to do a keyboard replacement okay so that is nice and removed now we're going to proceed with taking the board out but there's some screws that needs to be removed as well from here so as you can see i marked them because otherwise you may get confused those are the only two screws that needs to be removed over the year so feel free to mark them you know Next, release all of the tabs. Disconnect everything that's connected. Yeah. This and this. Next step, remove all of these screws. Anything that's holding this down, got to come out. All of them. See that? In there. Pull them all out. Once you remove all of them, you'll see they'll have a P on it. Once you remove all of those, you're going to be able to pry this down you see that Pry right down once you remove all the screws and literally it falls right down put it to the side and next now we can focus in removing this board okay so now we got some screws you're gonna see one right here three more over here so any screws you see up here needs to be removed including this one and that's gonna help us get this board off next you want to pull this out and remove this so that kind of gives you some space right there okay next I'm gonna be removing this screw here so the heat sink has got to come out next pull out the heat sink yep you're gonna have to clean that up and apply new uh, whatever you call that paste after Unless you want to leave it the way it is, if you don't care, but I would recommend new. Next, we're going to remove all this. Disconnect everything. Wi-Fi and even this side. Disconnect all of that. So, Wi-Fi has been disconnected and now 
we have another cable right here. You see that? That needs to be disconnected. Once you do so, this thing literally wants to come right off. But look, I still have two more connections there. Those have to come off as well. And after doing that, my board is now fully out of the machine. Look at that. Such a pain in the butt, right? Okay, so now we're getting ready for the work. So here's what I was sent. U53, U52, and then I was sent some spare ones. And if you look at the board, under it, on this area, you're going to see U52, U53. Those are the two chips you want to replace. So... I'm gonna go ahead and replace both of them and then we're gonna test it. Okay, so up in the screen, I wanted to, you know, take a picture of it and save it. That way, if I have to revert those chips that I, I know, but that's the up close to both chips. Okay, I've completed the job, as you can see on the screen. So the chips that I got are wind bond, they're totally different, but as long as it works, that's all I care about. So we're gonna put everything back together and we're gonna test it. Okay guys, I got everything kinda sideways right now. I got a hard drive just sitting in there. I put everything back together as much as I could. I got one memory uh, chip there. I'm actually gonna play around with the memory to make sure I get the right one in there. But let's, um, let's turn it on and see what we get. Uh, Okay, okay, whew, that's promising. Okay, it's trying to boot up into Windows. I don't know, I don't like, wow. I don't like that whole, what's going on with the display, but at least I got the computer booting up. Yep, yep. So that's a good thing, I gotta figure out the rest. I don't know if it has anything to do with the um, video card, I'm gonna I'm press it. Oh yeah, it is the video, ooh, there you go. So yeah, it's this cable here. This is the video cable. It wasn't uh, plugged properly. But yeah, look at this thing trying to boot up. <laughs> Man, guys, um, I had just thought this laptop was done. I was ready to throw it in the garbage. So this here, oh, look at that. We got Windows. Yep. Yep, got Windows and uh, it's ready to log in. Wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. So, um, where's my chip again? Um, where did I put it? Oh, right here on the side. So, yeah, this is what I purchased on eBay. I only got to use um, the left side. I'm, I'm going to keep the spear. I'm going to save the spear just in case there was another BIOS update and I feel crazy enough to try to do the BIOS update. Only reason I was trying to do the BIOS update was because of Windows 11. But I think I'm going to leave this thing alone as is and not mess with it. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you if you have the same problems. So, like and subscribe. See ya.